Hey guys, Justin Prime. First off, please make sure like you're working on something while you listen to this. I'm, I'm going to have um, a time lapse of something I colored, but um, uh, this is something for you to listen to while you're drawing on your own. So make, make damn sure you're drawing right now, please. Um, I'm going to be focusing on conventions for a couple of videos. Um, I recently decided to stop doing conventions. Um, and I wanted just to kind of go over, you know, what are some good things, what are some bad things about cons if you're thinking about doing them. Um, today, we're, for this video, we're focusing on uh, the cons, about cons. Um, so one thing when you think about this is ask yourself why you're doing a con or why you want to, what you want out of it, and if it fits with your future goals and your current lifestyle. Uh, for me, I wanted to make money and I wanted to make connections, and I did that. Um, I was doing conventions for a few years, um, and I made the connections I want to, and I made the money that I wanted to. Uh, overall, I did pretty pretty well. I was successful at conventions. Um, but conventions right now don't fit with the future goal that I have. I don't want to keep doing these. I don't want to be 50 years old doing conventions. Um, it doesn't fit with my current lifestyle, where my priority is my family, my career, and, and really it's working on sculpture stories. Um, so for me, it just it wasn't a good fit. So I, I would encourage you to ask yourself those questions. Um, if you decide that you want to go ahead with it, I definitely recommend it. Overall, it's fun. It's, it's a really good experience. You make a little bit of money. Um, I, I would recommend doing a convention if, if you're curious about it. But if, if you do decide to go ahead, here's some things that you should keep in mind. Number one is time. Uh, it's extremely time consuming. Doing cons is very, very time consuming. Um, your focus will be on prepping for conventions. Probably, honestly, like it, you, you need to give yourself a couple months ahead of time to prepare for one convention. Uh, that could be making or ordering new prints. Uh, might be picking up prints, making signs, backdrops, prepping your displays, uh, registering for a temporary business license, and afterwards paying taxes. And that's just a small sample of like what you need to do um in the for the displays and whatnot that's probably a front end thing like if you get a solid display you're happy with at the beginning then you don't really have to change it personally i was never happy with my displays so i kept adjusting it i wanted to always find a way to be more appealing to people walking by um so i, I redid my display a few times and each time i did is very time consuming um so you'll be spending your time on making stuff to sell that's the point of a convention one is to sell stuff the other is to you know make connect you know connections that's, yeah but really you're there to sell stuff so like for me I have sculpture stories that I'm working on and that's not really at a place where I'm ready to sell prints for it it's not well known enough I don't have enough buy-in from people I'm only one issue in so my personal project isn't something that I would be focusing on for a convention um, really what I'd be selling, what I was selling was Marvel, DC, you know, Deadpool, Batman, that, that, and that's mostly what people do unless you're into anime, but you're, you're, mostly people aren't selling their original work. They do, um, from what I've seen, they don't make a living off that exactly, there's not a ton of stuff being sold that way. Mostly the people that are selling there are selling stuff that people know about and are excited about or are looking for. Um, so... Time is, is the first thing you need to think about. It takes away time from things like family um, and your projects that you're really excited about. Um, for me, like I said, it's, it's sculpture stories. When I do a convention, I don't have time for sculpture stories. And sculptures is, is really my focus right now. It's my biggest focus. Um, if you have the spare time, hit it, like do it. If you have time to put into doing conventions um, and doing them right, do it. It's, it's definitely worth it. All right, another con about cons, number two, is expense. Um, they can be very expensive, and there's no guarantee that you'll make your money back. If you if you do a good job and you're a good salesman or woman, salesperson, <laughs> you will get your money back, and then some. Uh, but buying all the supplies and the merchandise, obviously it costs money, and you it might not sell. I, I have a few things where I put time into it, um, I printed it out and I didn't sell any of them. Um, that's happened once or twice. Uh, registration is 
is um, a big exp potentially a big expense. Smaller conventions cost less. Bigger conventions can cost hundreds of dollars. You might not make that back. You probably will, like I said, if you're a good salesperson and you have good work, you'll get it back. Uh, but gas, hotel, food, uh, energy drinks, um, buying something like a dolly to carry all your stuff in, even post-it notes, like all, all these things add up. It can be a very expensive thing doing a convention. Uh, this should be more of a front-end issue for the most part. Uh, once you buy the dolly, once you buy um, uh, like a banner, you know, you're good. You're, you're okay. Uh, once you buy a fouling system, like I have a couple of bins that I use, like you, that, that's covered up front. You make your money back and you move on. Things like gas and hotel and food, that's that pops up every time. Um, I'll do another video on how to how to save money. Um, but if you have something that you sell or that you can sell and something that's worth selling, do it. it it's a cons are a great way to do that. All right, uh, number three. Uh, it's stressful. It's very, very stressful. Uh, my stress level went way up. Um, and it didn't really go away. Like, I mean, I did it for a few years. I would get really stressed out before each convention, just worrying about if things were right, if I had registered for the, you know, to pay taxes, get my, my business, temporary business license, um, if I had enough prints. Um, there was always something I forgot, too. Um, it's stressful. It's really stressful to make sure you got everything right because you not you can't rely on anybody else. It's just you. Um, there's all that stuff is just it's busy work. It's not fun. It's not creative. Um, it's just the busy work that you need to do to make it happen and make it right. Um, traveling can be stressful. Um, I didn't really go very far. I was I wanted to stay close to my family, uh, but you know people that set up uh, hotel rooms and have to get their markers through the airport and all, and you know potentially the refillable liquid. Um, setting up like I said, setting up hotels, finding rental cars or shuttles, all the planning is just stress. Um, and then also like when you're gone, it's, it's fun when you're gone. Once you're there and you're doing it and you're hitting it, it's really fun. But when you come back, life is not paused for you. Like when I came, when I come back from a weekend gone, um, my family is still there. The kids still get sick. Um, dishes need to be done. I go to work on Monday. So all that stuff is still there waiting for me. It's just so, even though the weekend might've been fun, it, the stress hits you when you get home as well. All right, number four, it's not going to get you anywhere. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to break it to you, but realistically, doing conventions is not going to lead you to something bigger. There are exceptions. I, I, I get that. Um, those are those will typically, I would think, be through a larger convention. Um, Scotty Young is a really good example of that. He he got found at a table. He was actually sharing a table with someone, um, and he got found there. Uh, Newligan, uh, who I just did an interview with. He got found by DC. Now he did uh, two statues for them. One's a book and one's a statue, I believe. Uh, so it's possible. You, you, you might get found. Realistically, you're not. And I think the people that do get found are exceptional. Like They are the, the, the top talents that are there. Um, and honestly, most of the people I see in Artist Alley, are, it's not them. Uh, Nooligan, is, he's got a great style really good sense of design, really good presentation. He's got it on point. I, I can see why he got discovered. Uh, Scotty Young back then had a really cool, unique graffiti style that was big at that point. I can see why he got discovered. But usually, people are not going to get discovered. Like It's, it's just probably not going to happen. Sorry. Um, uh, and co conventions are primarily, like I said, they're, they're, to make you money, and or for you to make money, and for you to make connections. Um, there are good connections to be made. You're probably not going to be, you know, selling Stanley on your stuff. But there are smaller publishers like Action Lab and Scattered Comics. These are the people that I've I've talked with, and um, I think I have an avenue to work with if I can increase my production rate. Uh, but there, there's there's smaller publishers that have time for you to listen and check out your work. You can get feedback from. Um, so there, there's an there's an opportunity to be discovered there. On that level, I, th I think that's way more realistic. Number five, uh, most conventions, honestly, they, they just suck, um, especially the local ones. And I mean, I, I'm really not trying to piss anybody off or hurt any feelings, but the, 
if it's if it's a first year convention, the turnout is not going to be worth it for someone in Artist Alley. Um, what I what I recommend is looking for a convention that's been around for a couple years or at least three years, and has shown some growth. Um, if if you do a first year convention, it's really cheap, so it's a great way to get your foot in the door and feel it out. Um, but money wise, you're not going to be doing that well, probably. Um, you'll get your money back, but um, eh, nothing, nothing too special. Even at the bigger conventions or like moderate to large size, it's still hit and miss. Um, you, you don't. There's no guarantee in this. Uh, you, you have to be good enough, and you have to be able to know how to sell. And at the bigger conventions, there's more competition, and there's people that will draw better than you or color or whatever. Um, so it, it's a balance. Just just know what you're getting into if you do a first year and work your ass off for the bigger ones. Um, personally, I, I would aim for moderate to large. But hey, I'm really curious what you think. Uh, please leave a comment. If you disagree, that's fine. Let me know what you disagree about. If you agree, let me know. Um, obviously, this, this isn't you know the rule for every convention and every artist, obviously. Um, but if, if there's something you add, let me know. If there's something you take away, let me know. Uh, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.